the Dreamcast. It is a console I am barely familiar with, but this segment is actually kind of a sequel to the Dreamcast segment that I did probably three years ago now. And uh, it's something that, it is a system that deserved better, I agree. But when I played some games several years ago, some were pretty poop, but some were cool. And there's C-Man on here. But D Swizzy, who submitted the previous ones, submitted a new pack of games, some of which are... I mean, it seems like they're mostly interesting, good games. And uh, I'm going to play them. We're just going to go through, through them one at a time, see what they're like. I'm not going to spend too much time on them, but... It's just like when you have a game library with so much variety... Um, and I've never seen or played any of these... It's just something to check out. Vinny, I suggest you separate C-Man into a different segment. It really needs time. Now, I could interpret that in a weird way, but instead I'll just answer appropriately. I'm not actually playing C-Man today. I'm not. Um, there's other games. So let's start with a game called Agartha. Also, I've recently learned that playing Dreamcast games has gotten a lot easier and a lot more accurate and a lot better. Now, when I say playing them, you know what I mean, of course. Redream is pretty great for that. But um, over in the past couple years, it, it's, it's become better. I'm just going to eat my words, never mind. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Vinny, this is a prototype. It's an unreleased Dreamcast game. Yeah, I- this was not- there was no text document included with this pack. So I'm just playing as Walt Whitman in the fucking Arctic, and I have no idea what's happening. Um, but I... Yeah. I can't actually... I swear I just tested this game, it was working just fine. Um, do I need to do different settings? Because, I mean, this seems kind of not normal. I'll, I'll just click on your messages, D-Swizzy. Oh boy, you didn't see that. No, I'm, I'm playing this on my Dreamcast. Do you want me to send you a new copy? Oh, uh, oh, of the CD? Uh, no, that could take a while. Hey, this is different. No, it's not. Never mind. The game was supposed to be a survival horror game taking place within the snowy mountain peaks. Imagine some Indiana Jones ruins crossed with Resident Evil. Yeah, float book. GD, you mean CD is last gen tech. Do you have the internal resolution set to 16.9? Oh, yeah. I do. Oh, the internal resolution. Um... I don't, uh, not anymore. It's still fucked. Dreamcast is 4.3. Okay, so I got it 4.3. And, uh, the window sizes are still very, very different. See, yeah, this is what's happening still.
Yeah, this this is certainly accurate. Let me restart the game. Proper aspect ratio. Oh yeah, no, no, it's so much easier to play these games. It's the the accuracy is just you know phenomenal. Of the rhymes with cremulation. All right, got something. Okay. My controller is unplugged and this dude is doing this. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let, let me let me check the creme and make sure we're good. Um Xbox 360 controller. It seems okay. Down, left, right. Yeah, everything here seems to be accurate and fine. Maybe it's a 30 FPS game. Alright, no, chat is, is giving me good suggestions here. We got um, frame rate counter, um, frame skip, auto. I don't know how to change that option. Vertical sync. Hold RT to move. That's how you move your character. That makes all the sense ever. Thank you. This should be just called Quality Dreamcast Stream. I think it's interesting how the developers of this game assumed that I wanted to play as an old. Hello. This game is highly unfinished and highly cursed. <laughs> I feel like, hang on. I feel like we, we could get a meme out of this. Hang on a second. Why did it switch? Oh man, I was doing a thing. It was fun. No, no, no. We don't have to force the meme. But it, like, what I mean is a trust no one, not even yourself kind of meme. But I, I kind of don't think I can do that. The most I can do is just point the gun behind my back. You even... What the fuck? Why was there a punch noise when I shot her? She's dead. Are we the baddies? Oh, this is so, so, so unfinished. <laughs> May 5th, 2000. 
I mean, I know it's an internal test. I know that. It's just... I'm enjoying it very much, is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of opportunities for the funnies. I dropped my gun. How do you pick the gun back up? Oh no, I need that. Oh, I need that. No, no, no. Shit. Do you have no more ammo? No, I, I just dropped the gun. I was able to shoot infinitely, pretty much. Um, so I'm in a, a house. There's no sounds. There's... Re religious imagery on the walls. It's Resident Evil 8 before Resident Evil 8. Go oh, hello! Well, that's four. I mean, the game plays... I mean, it's tank controls, and it doesn't play all that great, but yet it is... It's weird, and I kind of want to see what happens next. Cowboys? Why, why did the bread lift like that? <laughs> Maybe I can use the pencil to stab the dude in the face. Ah, yes, good. It's so fucking jittery. I have to take a selfie. Here I am, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna do good Dreamcast games, everybody. Cool, good Dreamcast games to show the, what I missed when the Dreamcast re released, you know? Quality. Quality. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, float the croissant. Float the croissant. Is it just me, or does his backpack have a face? You, you, yeah, it kind of looks like a face. Um, I'm gonna reload the game one more time because I want to shoot them with the pit, with the gun, with the pistol, and then and then we will move on to the next game. Is this the right way? Is this something, something different? No, this is something different. All right. Chat, I'm going in alphabetical order. This is a very early alpha. Oh yeah. Extremely early, but it it is it is definitely um it is as crusty as this man is old. And that's okay. We're just checking out a variety of things. We're, you know, we're, we're learning about these games and... and what they are, and... I'm just judging Dreamcast from this game. 
Like, I've never owned a Dreamcast, but I'm just gonna judge the entire existence of that console on this one video game. So don't mind me, Sega fans. Alright, here we go. Now I can... Now I can do the thing. Here we go. God. Just... Please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Getting any kind of precise movement. Out of this game. Not easy. Also, cool hat. Will the croissant still lift, chat? Or donut, or bagel, or whatever? Oh, no, no, when you shoot them, you also shoot their croissant. It's a tiny bunt cake? Bundit. B U N D T. Bun Bundit cake. Don't say bunt, you'll get demonetized. Yeah, I hate that you're right, actually. Okay. All right, uh, moving on. I don't know what the fuck I just played, but thank you, Sega, for allowing that to happen, even in alpha form. This game is called MPEG Soft Deck. No, it's called Bomber. Hehe. <laughs> From Fujicom, Popo. I've heard these words for so many years of my life. Um, well, one is talking about how they need to take a piss, but they can't leave because they'll get fired from the office. And the other one's saying that he's just trying to figure out how to, um, how to install EverQuest. Was that a thing in Japan at the time? Probably not. Yeah, it's just one of Jim and ja it's the Japanese office, and it's a Jim san and Dwight the Kun. Yeah, 
じゃあ,あの花火職人なんてどうやあいいっすね花火職人えー、今日はどうしましたジム looks at camera and then stretches arms into infinity。さっきと一緒じゃないですか、ちょっと危ないって危ないってちょっとあかんが。最悪もう全然ダメですよ。飽きませんよ、そんなもん。よし、じゃあ思い切ってな。学校の先生。Oh, alright, we're. We... Okay. I let it go as long as I could. I, I, and nothing was happening that I could understand. Sorry. The point of this game is to set many bombs in a building and try to cause as much destruction as possible. And what year did this come out? Is this fake Mission Impossible music? January 1st, 2002. The buildings are empty, it's fine. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Obviously. I mean, it's, it's an interesting concept. If I, you know, could understand what was happening a little bit better, perhaps I would, uh... I would be able to enjoy it more, but like, I don't even know how to like switch floors. But yeah, it looks like you have like money. Uh, you can switch floors here this way. It's very unique. I don't think I've ever played a game like this in my life, so that's, that's definitely something that I can, I can appreciate. It's always nice to see something completely fucking different from any genre genre you're familiar with. From any John Cena you're familiar with, right, right, right. Oh, the time. I don't want to preview. How do you? I want to do, uh. Huh? I don't know how to start this. Uh. Does anyone know how to start this? Press start and go to the second option. Huh. Okay. You get different camera angles too and you can watch it. Okay, yeah, this is actually really cool. I don't know if the physics are different every time, but this is really cool. I passed. That was cool, but we should do some more domestic terrorism, he says. Alright, but first, let's look at the camera, get into some wacky hijinks, and, uh... Oh yeah, who's that weird person in the office that keeps looking at us? I think he said Sugoi, and then he said Chotto. Which, what does that mean? I hear that all the time. Wait? It means wait? Okay. Or it's like a little stop. Alright, well, well, you know what? We'll move on because you got the gist of that game, and I think that was actually kind of awesome. 
and I would have probably really enjoyed that growing up if it was ever brought here and I could like read what was happening Choto is a little Choto Mate is wait a bit okay. web systems Cool borders. God, the soundtrack immediately tells you when it was made. This is pretty wicked so far. Is he playing video games? <laughs> I, I love looking back at what we thought was realistic characters. Just on the border of like N64, between N64 and PS2. I mean, even early PS2, some some of those character models looked a, a little crusty. There's a charm to it. These are great names. The Accelerator. No, I don't want to play. I just want to watch someone else play it. Oh, wait, fuck. I'm the guy who has to do that for you. It. Thank you, Cool Borders, for that. Gum, 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 gum. <laughs> what? Free ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um, okay, alright, alright. Hey, uh, D Swizzy. This loaded the save file, right? Then he pressed the second option. Okay, it did. Alright, let me, I'll. So, I wanna do Super Pipe? Super Pipe! <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm looking at your messages. You were. That was you talking about the other thing from earlier. Wrong game. Never mind. Uh, sorry. Oops. Also, there's cool a person in chat named Pipe border. who is just craigasmed over Super Pipe. Gum, 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 gum. Also, they appear to be a Twitch mod. Hello, uh, Twitch mod. Free ride. That's a cool name that you got there. Just Pipe. Welcome. Like, I want to know who John is on Twitch. Just John. So you can be, um, a fridge, you can be a gray alien, or you can be whatever whatever this is. Well, what is this? Hello, it's Titesman. The pink one? Yes, yes, yes! Yeehaw! Yeah, baby. Yeah. Wait, Goofy. I feel pretty. Mountain review. John is a pro Call of Duty player. Tights man. Oh, so he's really in, he's he supports go. Call of Duty. He's bad dad joke. It's like fake James Bond. Oh, come on, you gotta practice a little more. Hey, you okay? Whoa! Did I just hear Sam Kennison scream? Heights man. Heights man. Oh, come on, you gotta practice a little more. Physics, what the fuck even are they? Holy shit. Speed up! You're leaving snail tracks! Heights man. 
Right. Tights man, tights man, tights man. Tights man. He said you're leaving a snail trail. No, it, no, they didn't say snail trail. Tights man. Was that an animal? I can't tell. <laughs> it's not like Tony Hawk where you can hold down the, the jump button and move around. Okay, so my initial observation is this is not SSX. It is not Tony Hawk. And I cannot play it as such. I am Tights Man. Ready? I rule. Go! Tights Here we go. Tights Everyone's man. watching. Show us what you've got. Tights Here comes Tights the trick man. point. Get ready for it. Bomb that cliff. Do we really need someone saying Tights Man <laughs> this often? I'm good. Not bad. Yeah, that's Sam Kennison. That's Sam Kennison. They probably didn't even get permission. Okay, maybe it's not. I, I don't know, I can't tell. It just sounds so much like him. Oh God! Practice a little more. Oh, what are you doing? When I was a kid, I thought the snowboarding game was extremely realistic, or games like this. Um, I thought SSX Tricky had really great graphics on the GameCube. Like, I, I was blown away by how good that game looked, and I haven't seen it or played it since it came out, so I have no idea if it still looks good. But GameCube had some games that aged very well, like Rogue Squadron, Wind Waker, I think Mario Sunshine looks really nice. But uh, SSX was also a multi-plat, so... Resident Evil 4, F-Zero GX, yeah. Holy fuck, this game is loud. Cool... Free ride! Prime. Yeah, Metroid Prime. I was just talking about that this weekend. Metroid Welcome. Prime still looks so good. Great. Secret Force! Please stop screaming. It's just like, all I want this game to do is just stop screaming at me, please. Ready? Go! Here we go! Everyone's watching. Show us what you've got. <sighs> at least I don't have to hear tights, man. Tights, man. Is this supposed to be like an Area 51? Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? That must have hurt. <laughs> we just watched an alien get run over by a truck. Uh, yeah, he's using the entirety of Rainbow Road shrunk down into a snowboard, which I cannot... I... I, I cannot fathom. Also, I think this is illegal, you know. Can you, like, grind on the rails and stuff? Snowboard on concrete. Too bad. 
jump button, two hold up, left, right, direction, three release jump button. Okay. Okay. Hang on. I'm um, trying to get D Swizzy's messages because he knows this game and these games more than anyone. It's a racing game, not a trick game. The only trick is trying to play it. Welcome! Snowman! <laughs> what are these noises? Ending course! I've never played a more annoying game. Like, just random noises. There's a yodeling person. This is a cool credit sequence, by the way. I think this might be one of the coolest credit sequences I've ever seen for a game like this. But... It just continues being a fucking sensory assault. Oh, do it. Oh, no, do it. Surprised I even landed a trick. Imagine failing the credit Time's sequence. Up. Too bad. Oh. Amazing. Um, I'll, I'll play one more character, one more level. I'll play, like, an actual, like, human character. Ronnie seems badass. Oh, yo! Yo! All these costumes! Hang on, I want to see all the costumes. Why would you do this? Why are you... What are you... Hot <laughs> okay? That's all I... Yeah? Not everyone knows Hadoge. That, that's okay. Yeah? Ronnie. <laughs> I was introduced to Hadoge from Gaki Notsukai, which is... I, I, like, people are like, Vinny doesn't like Japanese stuff. Well, you may be surprised to know I like weird Japanese game shows. I don't know. Yeah? DJ Ken. Good choice, man. Good choice. Amazing. Yeah? Bob! Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, man! Yeah! Yeah? Okay. Bob! Bob! Oh, yeah? My turn, huh? B A W B. Oh, did they call him Bob because Bob Marley? Yeah? That's a little on the nose, don't you think, game? Bob! Bob! Listen to the person dying in the music. happening anymore. <laughs> yes sir, it's time. Ready? 
That voice acting. Here comes the trick point. Get ready for it. Bomb that. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, you okay? Oh, come on, you gotta practice a little more. Incoming! It, go, it's like go, me go, doing a voice. Moving. God, this this is not good. Whoa, you can really it's so narrow. Turns. You can really crank that hog. Guy's amazing. Oh, more screaming in the vocals and the music. Snail tracks, not snail trails. Chat, come on. Whoa. These are people, not insects. Sorry, mollusks. A snail is a mollusk, right? Or is that just ocean cre cre creatures? Snails are in the oceans as well. Yes. The Mollusk is a good ween album. I, I am aware, yes. Hey, you're running out of time. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I don't know if the game is just... Too bad. Okay. Good enough. Absolutely bizarre game. Uh, not very fun for me to play. Maybe I'd have to get better at it. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't particularly enjoy that. Cool Borders Two was a lot better. I also picked the trick stuff and maybe bad characters. So maybe it it could be a, a fun game that some people have nostalgia for. But yeah, that wasn't that wasn't doing it for me. Um, at least it was funny. Here's something, it's just called Dreamcast Game. I don't know what this is. Welcome to Sunday Stream Black Spine Edition. In cooperation with Gonzo? Blue Submarine number six, Time and Tide. <laughs> anime tropes to an outsider like who doesn't know the medium it sometimes it's just funny i'm sorry chat Vinny, anime in the water is never normal chat member i don't know what you mean <laughs>
Someone said that's not an anime trope. What the fuck? They literally showed a close-up of his face while the thing was like going. And he went, Kazuma! Vinny, he probably meant ship girls. Yelling after someone dying isn't a trope exclusive to anime, bruh. Oh, it is- what? I'm sorry, someone died? Did I miss that? It was in the first five seconds, I'm sorry. Sometimes I look at chat, and then I miss vital pieces of information. <laughs> Vinny, you kicked the corn- the hornet's nest. I know. I know. The- the hornet's nest has been... Oh, activated. And the copium has been huffed. So, no, but really, joking aside, what- what is this? Okay, so you can save. You can exit. Uh, Hayami's house. Church. Industrial complex. Castle's gate. Zeng's house. Yum Cha Pow Pow Tower. <laughs> Still don't get why Vinny play weeb stuff, question mark, just to mock them, question mark. <laughs> wow, wow, that's all I had to do was say a couple like little words there. Yeah, I gotta mod that guy. I'm very, I'm a very reasonable person. I am indebted to Mr. Zeng, <laughs> and so I won't sell to unregistered workers. Naturally, I won't buy either. Okay. Is, so, so this is a visual novel then. Well, D Swizzy, why did you include this in the pack? Are you trying to are you trying to get me in trouble? There are anime fans here, D Swizzy. Don't you understand that I'm trying to cultivate and establish an audience of nice people, like anime fans and everyone else as well, and they're gonna hate me because I I. Damn it. But yeah, I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. Uh, but why was this included? Um, hey there, welcome. Please feel free. Feel at home, rather. This unfair world must not last forever. The folk inside are blossoms now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. No, 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 it may, no, they're blossoms now. <laughs> uh. Vinny, I don't even know what this game is called, but if you make fun of it, I will unsubscribe. Uh, by all means, I should be the one coming after you, but my current physical state, I beg your, you I beg you pardon my rudeness. As for the reason I called you, it's none other than your registration. Uh... Hang on, I have to get D Swizzy's chat messages because I don't... I don't know if he's been answering my questions. We're gonna find out. Because I, I just want to know what this is or why it's notable enough to be included in this pack. Because I know that there's a little bit more rhyme and reason to this pack than just random whatever the fucks. Okay. You gotta go to Zeng's house first. Okay, so Zeng's house. 
Yes. Um, ho house? House. Go to the guild's reception if you want work. Then go to... Hayami's house. Vinny got tricked into playing a visual novel. It looks like it. Alright, let's see. This is basically Japanese water world with subs and mutants. Okay, well, you know, water world had a cool concept. I just don't think the execution was all that great. He's all riled up. This guy. Let's take him into the warehouse. Oh quick. boy. Oh, 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 oh lord. That dog, I'll be taking it. Huh, a golden coin. All this just for a dog. What a weird guy. It's just voice over, over the original. Let's go. <laughs> no dub, no sub. Just let's record new audio on top of the old audio. Oh wait, now we got subs. お前を助けた覚えはない。私私ラファ、こう見えてもちょっとメカには詳しいんだ。ね、私をあれ、ちょっと人の話はちゃんと聞きなさいよ。ねえ、たら聞こえてる。Am I an anime fan now? You live in a pretty crappy place for someone with such a reputation. Thought you'd be rolling in money. Uh, well, there's video games in this world. At the very least. They live on the ocean in like a shit city. But at least they can play video games. If you don't wish to, you can just... You can just not take jobs from the guild. Grampus modifications and maintenance will be done shortly. Oh! We to take a bongo to Nabusa City! Okay, so there's actually more than just visual novel here, it looks like. D. Swizzy, you haven't answered my question. Why did you include this in the pack? range of control over your your submarine you know you can kind of just like look down yeah there's there's the water world stuff like there's just someone's house ah it's a shame too because it's a neat concept and it would be cool to explore like a flooded earth and like look down and see cars and houses but you have like two camera angles which is just up and down Caution out of area.
Gotta hold right trigger to move. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I certainly am. Um, it seems like you're just on, like, a single course. Yeah, you just go forward, you go backwards. <laughs> That's about it. Auto turning. Now my buttons are all binded, bound appropriately. Yeah, but I also didn't read what the dude was saying. Uh, listen, chat members. Uh. I don't know. Hang on. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. It wasn't working before, but the left stick actually does the thing. We've switched to all range mode. Yeah, it's just before I would press the thing and it, it wouldn't work. Oh my god, stop calling me. Jesus. Instead of having that menu pop up, just tell me while I'm in the sub, dude. It's definitely neat to check out the concept and to see um, the underwater stuff. It's a little jank, and it made me laugh unintentionally a couple times, but I'm sure this is like a cult classic for some people. And then you get a phone call from this dude every 60 seconds. Oh, I, I am fully aware of there being coordinates. I just wanted to explore and look around a little bit. Uh oh. Yeah, there's the map and stuff. Um, if you could set little, like, marks on it so that you knew where to go, that would be cool. But I don't... I don't think I'm going to play this too much longer. In fact, I'm not. I'll tell you why. It's a lot for me to get into right now. I want to end the stream in a couple minutes. Uh, because I'm very tired. I had a very long weekend, like I said. And uh, I'd like to like stop. However, before I go, I want to show you guys one more. Um... Swizzy, do you have a recommendation for a short game that I can show of these? Something that would be five, ten minutes. Because there's a number, like, uh, this is going to be a part two, obviously, but there's uh, Zombie Revenge. There's probably, like, another nine games for next time. But yes, we'll play Zombie Revenge. Don't worry, I'm only judging the Dreamcast's entire lifespan on these five games. It's, trust me, just because I didn't have a Dreamcast, now I know exactly what this is. Zombie Revenge. Let's go. Yeah. Select players. Oh god. Wow, that face. Gene Simmons a little bit. Um Stick Breitling. Linda Rota. Linda Rota. What the fuck are these names? Bobson Dugnut. 
It's so good of you to make it here. Seems like you are more than those helpless humans. But be careful, the game has just begun. There is are a flop. Are we still following this guy? He's the one making the zombies. To catch him, we have to follow. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. It's a light gun game. It's very cheesy. Oh, it's not a light gun game. But yet, it is? It's very arcadey. Oh, what the fuck? Zombies have guns now? Machine gun. That is so unfair. Antidote. Shotgun. Help me! Help! Vinny, it's a House of the Dead spin-off. This is this is nutty. Here, take this. A man with golden eyes said to give it to you. How did I get myself into this mess? Antidote. Shotgun. I mean it, it even gives you the timer like an arcade game. Machine gun. Machine gun. Can I run? Trying to find a run button. Something's here. It's Nemesis. It's a Mogus. No, don't face that way. No. Ow. Still trying to figure out the controls. Kind of do that. Bullets. I, I like it. I kind of like this game in a weird way. It's not like amazing, but there's a cheesy, kind of campy, arcadey, actiony thing that I like about it. It knows what it is. And. As a result of it knowing what it is, they probably There's saved no some time. development time. There's no time. The co-op is probably no fun. They no throw a grenade. There's no time. Yes! There is no time. There is no time. There's no time. There's no time. Time over. Die. Um, what is happening? Is this an alien? Is that another zombie too? Bullets. I I kind okay. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna choose gun mode with stick breetling and just see what the voice acting is like for him. Are we still f Ooh, 
Come on, stick. I, I need you to show us. Show us how cool you are. Machine gun. Really hasn't said a whole lot, has he? Help me! Help! Bullets. Oh, he's got a punch. When these characters take damage, they turn damage. pink. Continue. Damn it! They turn pink and die. Damn it! <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> We're not gonna get better than that as an ending. All right. Um, sorry, this segment got cut short, kind of, but uh. You know, not really that it was cut short, but I didn't really get a chance to go through too many games, so we'll have to do a part two. But, um, I don't know. I enjoy the variety. There's a weird mix of games, and they are certainly quality, but I've got many more quality games for you uh, at some point in the future. So, you know, I'll only judge the Dreamcast game quality on, on these for now, but maybe... The next set of games will make me love the Dreamcast. Maybe I'll just need to buy C-Man. I don't know. All right, everybody. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, as usual. I'm very appreciative. And yes, I know the Dreamcast had a number of good games. I'm, I'm aware. Trust me. I know it's a cult classic video game console that people really love. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Put them on a teddy bear outfit. Uh, thank you, though, everybody. Have a good night. Um, I'll continue to do more of that game. We'll do more AI. This is a night of part twos. And uh, then we'll also do some other stuff during the week. More Binding of Isaac. More Ace Combat. So, you know, stop by for that. And uh, I'll see you, see you around. And thanks for all the support. I appreciate it a lot. Goodbye.